probably not gonna do this intro thing. How's it going guys? Uh, I haven't been able to really drive my Supra yet since it's still like winter outside. And, well I drove it the other day for probably about 20 minutes. But I kept hitting boost cut because it's so cold. But today it's still minus two out, but we're gonna go for a drive. Um, the roads are probably cold, my tires aren't gonna stick, but uh, I'll get the feel for the car and you can see my reaction to it. As you can see there's still snow on the ground. It's actually minus two outside right now. It was snowing earlier, so the roads might be a little wet, but you know, I'm just craving it now, so. There it is. The cobalt is also in here. I broke the radiator in it. I hit a curb a little bit too hard in the front. So that is the third radiator that's broken in that car. So I just ordered the fourth radiator that's going in it. Now it was tuned at like 20 degrees when I went to the dyno and it's minus two currently so the cold start is a bit off a little bit. But once it warms up it's fine. You gotta be a bit harsh with the clutch a little bit. So we're gonna head out to Mexico Street. I know every city's got one so mine's uh, at a disclosed location. Oh yeah, I always wear this hat because I like refuse to get a haircut, which is pretty bad because my hair's getting really long now and and then I sleep on it. Like I shower and then I sleep on it and then when it dries it it kinda dries wherever I slept on it, so I get like straight up on one side. I just put a hat. Alright, so a couple things from the dyno. I found out that my air fuel gauge is basically useless. It didn't match anything that the dyno air fuel gauge was reading so I've got to replace that right now it's a Pro Sport Evo I got the Pro Sport Evo because I was able to match up a wideband uh, with a boost gauge like have two identical gauges and I didn't really like the AEM style I have used the AEM previously in a bunch of my builds and they kind of stick out too far for me and I didn't like that but after talking to the tuner he said that go ahead just get an AEM so that's what I'm gonna do to replace this gauge um, another thing is, I'm losing fuel pressure on the top end. Now I do have a Walbro 450 in the tank, and it should be good for up to 600 at the wheels. Unfortunately it's not, so I have to diagnose that. So whether it's um, a restricted fuel filter or something to do with the tank, um, it is directly wired up to the battery through a relay, so I don't think that's the issue. But, you know, one of those things I gotta figure out and if I can, I'm just going to overbuild it. Now it was 20 degrees when I got the car tuned. It made right around 16 and a half pounds of boost and boost cut is set at 17.5. So being minus 2 out, we might actually hit boost cut today. I do have a 245 rear tire and that is not going to hold this 400 foot pounds of torque. In case you didn't watch my last video, which you should have, and I'll put the link somewhere over in the bottom and top somewhere. Um, the car did make 450 wheel horsepower, right around 400 foot pounds of torque. Um, it was a low reading dyno, um, so you do what you want with that. And we had to cut it short due to that fuel issue. Oh, there's a photo radar truck right there on the other side of the road. I should get a dual camera set up so you can see here. And I'm not that cool. Put it in third. Okay, no traction in third. The drivability is great though. Um, anywhere on the throttle, mid throttle, half throttle, part throttle, anywhere through the RPM range feels, feels really good. Tires are warming up a little. That was third, bit of traction. There's a guy in a truck next to me and he's staring at me right now. It's pretty awkward. I do smell a bit of fumes. I think it might be from a catch can. I 
don't like that. All right, so we're doing about 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour. Sixth gear, it's like 2200 RPMs, so it, it's excellent for cruising. The road seems really dry now. My tires are probably heating up a little bit from just driving it. Yeah, let's get on a little bit. This is third gear. traction but that's third gear going disclosed speed. I did brake boost it a little bit and it hooked. It didn't spin that time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the camera off here because uh, we're just pulling into Mexico. Uh, I got to cross the border so I'm going to take the camera down and then I'll put it here in the dash somewhere and um, I'll commentate over that. So you can kind of see what the engine's doing and RPMs and you can see the no traction and stuff. All right, so we just crossed the border into Mexico. Everything's good. They uh, didn't search my car or anything, so. Second. Okay, yeah, that's a bit wild. Okay, so there is a launch control setting in this and it's mainly for the track on slicks. So we'll see how it does on the street. virtually useless. So my first impression of the car is that it's incredible. The difference between the map ECU I had last year and the Holtec this year is, is like crazy. Anybody who doesn't want to go standalone ECU, you're silly. Um, secondly, this amount of power is awesome for what I'm driving on right now. Um, it is minus two out, so you have to play in the fact that the turbo really likes the air and the tires really don't like the road. So, um, maybe an extra 100 wheel horsepower, you know, a bit better tires, you'll have kind of the same result. This is just me out for a ride. Um, I'll actually do like a full length feature on my car eventually. I probably won't be back home for a day or two. Mexico's a pretty long drive. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a comment if you have anything to ask. Uh, the setup's pretty basic. It's just a stock 2JZ long block, 6266 turbo, a bit of a fuel system, and Holtec ECU. Uh, pretty effective setup if you ask me. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, follow my damn Instagram, super underscore Williams. Do it now. Now. Do it.